everyone, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. Welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. I've been slacking a little bit. I haven't done too many of these, but I have been doing a lot of fix and flip before and after videos, so hopefully those are keeping you a little bit entertained. Uh, today I want to talk about my rental properties, why I'm not buying any rentals right now, at least in Colorado, and um, some of the things going on with my flips. But before we get to that, uh, I just want to make sure you check out investformore.com. I'm almost at 450 free articles on the site. I've got my podcast going, a ton of free resources. If you sign up for my email list, I've got a free 50 plus page book on investing you can check out and you get updated when all my articles come out. So hope you check it out and enjoy the site. Always subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what I'm doing and appreciate if you like my videos as well. All right, so um, I have 15 rentals now. I had 16 a week ago, I actually sold one of them uh, last week. And the reason I'm doing that is because of the market in Colorado. It is just going crazy. Our median price in my town, which is Greeley, Colorado, about 60 miles north of Denver, our median price right now is over $260,000. Um, four, five years ago, the median price was $120,000. So our prices have been going up 20% a year, basically the last four or five years. Um, it's just been insane. And it's been awesome for the properties I own, for my rentals, um, for the flips I'm doing, but the rents have not kept up with the property values. So for example, um, the property I sold, I bought for 88,000 in 2012. I rented it for $1,250 and I've had it rented to the same tenants that whole time. I probably could have raised the rent a little bit. Uh, maybe I could get 1,400 a month for it right now, but I decided to sell it because I sold it for $199,500. So I was able to take basically $120,000 in cash out of the property um, and you know, $1,400 a month rent for a $200,000 property is not a very good rent to value ratio. Um, I should be able to do much better than that, maybe not in Colorado, but at least somewhere else. So that's part of the reason why I haven't bought any rentals recently. The last rental property I bought was September in 2015, which is almost a year ago now, um, kind of hard to believe. You know, I've got a goal to buy 100 rental properties by 2023. If I'm not buying any, it's kind of hard to reach that goal, but I don't want to buy properties if they don't make me any money. I definitely want to be buying the right properties, properties that make sense, properties that will bring me cash flow and hopefully appreciate as well. So I definitely am not just doing the appreciation play. I want to make money every month while I own the properties too. So my plan, if you've been watching the podcast or paying attention to the website, is to invest in another market. Now it's taken me a while to get going. It's been, you know, it's not easy to learn a new market, to find a team, find an agent, find a lender, and find good deals um, thousands of miles away. And that's basically where I've been looking. I've been looking in Florida. I took a trip down there in March in the Orlando area, not quite in Orlando, but in that area. Um, and I found some really good markets down there. I found you know, properties in the lower $100,000 range. They'll rent for $1,200 to $1,400 a month. Property taxes are decent. Insurance is a little higher down there, but not you know, obscene. It's not too bad. And there's some good cash flow down there. But it's still tough to find a lender. Um, it's tough to operate you know, 2,000 miles away, finding good deals, finding an agent I can trust. Um, building a team. So I definitely want to keep buying rentals, but it's tough to buy out of state. Um, definitely possible, but it's tough. So the process has been kind of slow, and um, this summer has been kind of a transition period for me with my fix and flip business, some other businesses. I hired a project manager last year to handle all my fix and flip rehabs, the remodeling, contracting, and that did not go well. He did not do a good job, really put me in a bind. And so I've been working really hard to restructure my business for flipping, get properties sold, get them rehabbed, find new contractors, put better systems in place. So my focus has really been on that business because I get so much cash tied up in flips. Um, you know, I really wanna make sure that's working right. Right now I have 11 flips, um, actually I have 10 now, I just sold one today. Um, 11 flips going and each of those flips probably takes close to $50,000 or more of cash to buy them, 
to rehab them, repair them. So obviously that ties up a lot of money. Now I have private money from different sources, have some private investors. My sister lends me some private money, which helps, but I still have a lot of my own money tied up in those properties. So if I can get the flip business going well, where we're buying them, rehabbing them, selling them, you know, in six months or less, I'll be in great position to start buying more rentals, really concentrate on that again. Um, and I think we're getting close to that. I've got my assistant, Nikki, who's doing awesome, helping me out with that. We've got new contractors on board. And um, yeah, in July, I have four, three properties now under contract that will be selling as flips. That'll be great. I'm selling another rental property in July as well. That'll bring me some more cash. And my thoughts on the rentals are, I'm kind of selling the ones that are the least desirable for me. The one I just sold um, had a weird floor plan, no real dining room, an addition that wasn't working very well, it's hard to rent. And since the market's doing so awesome, I thought it was a great time to sell it. The second rental I'm selling is a duplex. All my rentals are single families except for this one property, kind of a college rental duplex that didn't really fit my criteria. But I was stretching my criteria to buy properties last year because our market was going so bonkers. Um, so I'm selling that one. I'm gonna, I bought that for 120000 last year. Um, we put maybe 10000 of work into it, had it rented for 1300 a month the last year. And that one is listed for 180 under contract. It's set to close in a couple weeks as well. So, I mean, the market's awesome. I, I put some numbers to all the figures. Uh, probably a month ago just to see what was going on with my rentals and basically I have about 1.5 million dollars of equity in my 15 rental properties um, and it has taken less than three hundred thousand dollars of cash to buy those properties so in four five years I've basically you know increased my net worth five times with rental properties so that's pretty awesome. Um, just amazing what they can do when you buy below market value, um, get a great deal, plus appreciation helps as well. But a lot of that money I'm making was because I bought really good deals, um, properties well below market value. So my plan for now, definitely wanna buy more rentals. Uh, might take me a couple months to really find an awesome market. I'm still tossing around a few places, build a team, find the agents, find the lenders, get all of that done. Um, but I will be buying more properties and I'm refinancing some. So some of you may have been following, I was gonna refinance seven of my properties with Jordan Capital Finance. That completely fell through, that exploded. I paid for appraisals, $500 for seven appraisals. Um, all of a sudden Jordan's partner that they were getting financing through, that dried up, they stopped lending completely. Um, they had some other options, but instead of getting a 30 year fixed loan at around 6% or so, their options were five or 10 year arms at like 7%, which is just crazy. Uh, I've talked to multiple other lenders. What I ended up doing is going back to my local portfolio lender. They're gonna refinance four of my properties. I don't wanna do all seven, but I'm gonna do four. Um, get about $250,000 cash out of them. Four and a half percent interest rate, 30 year term, five year arm with no balloon. So basically it's a, a fixed rate for five years but it can adjust after those five years, the rate can go higher, but there's no balloon, so I don't have to pay that loan off in five years, just the rate can go up. Um, so they're gonna do that for me here in the next month to six weeks. And really, when I finish with the refinancing, after selling rental property number five, and by the way, if you want more information on that rental property I sold, I'll put a link below this video, take you to the site, tell you all about that property, show you some pictures of it. Um, but with the cash I got out of that property, in refinancing my rentals, I'm basically gonna get all the money I spent buying these rental properties back and maybe then some. And so I'll have none of my own cash invested and I will probably still be making about, oh, six to $7,000 a month from them. And I'll have about $1.2 million of equity in them. So rentals are awesome. I love rental properties, obviously. Um, it helps when the market is awesome too, but you know you can get great rentals in most markets um, depending on the price to you know rent ratios, which in Colorado has gotten kind of crazy, but there's still lots of good markets out there. So that's the update on me, what I've been up to with my flips, my rentals. I'm still flipping like crazy, hoping to flip 20 houses this year. We'll see if I get there. It'll be tough, um, but I really want to. 
and definitely want to keep buying rentals, but that's you know slowed down a little bit just because it's so hard to find good deals here. So thanks for watching. Again, check out investformore.com. If you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the little like button. That always helps me out. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day.